Question 1. Can you do digital art without a tablet? Of course you can. It's not necessary to have a tablet. But if you have one of them, a graphics tablet can make your work easier, a lot more fun and actually take your artwork to the next level. Especially when it comes to drawing, painting and sculpting. Question 2. Which type of tablet would you prefer to work with? A pen tablet or a pen display tablet? You know, the main difference between them is that the pen display tablet does have a screen and users can directly draw or sculpt on the screen, but pen tablets doesn't have any screen. Actually, I asked this question in my community post section and I got different answers. Look at the words here. My friends almost like to use both of them, but why? They said pen tablets are affordable. It's simplicity. I can work very well with a normal pen tablet and it takes up little space on my desk. I have both. It's good for beginners to start with pen tablet, but if you're intermediate, I would recommend display tablet, but yes, it is expensive, but both gives the same results. Only practice required. About pen tablet, they're cheap, they make nice sounds, they are very comfortable to use. I use both, but I prefer pen tablets, probably because I got used to them and I'm more precise and comfortable with it. I can watch precisely where I draw and everything around it without having my hand in the way. I like the pen display tablet because I can position my body wherever it's comfortable instead of being forced to sit exactly one way to be able to see my screen. My display tablet is small enough that I can move it around easily and even put it on my laptop if I wanted to. I'm close to making that decision what to choose. I want to go deeper into sculpting, but mouse has its own limitations. Pen tablets are cheap, don't have any distance or distortion, and overall better. I like pen display tablet. I have coordination problem between screen and tablet using the pen tablet. The pen display is much easier to use. So as you saw guys, people have different opinions and different interests and, and it's really up to you that which type of graphic tablet you are comfortable working with. Actually, I reviewed the pen display tablet before. I put it up here. Make sure to watch it. But in this video, I'm going to introduce to you a good quality pen tablet, which is SenseLabs. Actually, the company sent this product to test and give my honest review. I really appreciate that. I'm going to show you what's in the box and how to use it. Also, I'm going to sculpt for a while using this tablet for testing. So definitely you would figure out that what is my opinion about this tablet and which type of tablet actually I prefer to work with. So let's get started. This package is SenseLabs Pen Tablet Medium Bundle with Quick Keys that the company sent me to review. Let's quickly open it because I'm so excited to show you what's in the box. Okay, first when we open it, we would see the SenseLabs Pen Tablet on the top. The first thing that I noticed about this tablet was the quality. It can compete with other popular tablets. And the second thing is its size. It's a medium-sized tablet, not too small and not too big. It's really nice. Also, it's well-designed and because of this nice slope to the bottom, it could give your wrist a rest. Also, it has adjustable LED lights on the surface, which can define the active drawing area. So cool! On the top of the tablet, there are three function buttons, which you can customize to your own needs in the driver. The next thing we have here is this nice case. It's a good quality bag that can protect the tablet and its accessories when you want to keep them safe at home or even carry them somewhere else. I like it. The next thing is this classy pen case. As you can see, we have different sized pens inside the case. The thin pen, which is actually so similar to a real pen or pencil, has two buttons which you can assign any shortcuts to them. And the thicker pen has three buttons that same as the previous one, you can program them inside the free drivers. So both pens are fully customizable, battery free and also has an eraser at the top. Also we have the USB type A that you can plug into your PC and install the drivers in order to connect the tablet to it and start using it. There is another USB type A to USB type C adapter that you can use with the cables if you have a PC with USB 
USB Type-C input. Here, there are two types of spare nibs that you can check which one works perfectly for you. The next thing we have here is this well-designed quick keys which comes only in the Sense Labs medium bundle package. It has one wheel and eight buttons and generally using this device, you can create up to 40 shortcuts per application and group sets of related functions like sketching, painting, sculpting, or 3D modeling. So if you have one of these, you can speed up your workflow. So it's really up to you. The next thing we have here is this drawing glove, which is similar to other brands. Also, we've got two different cables, one for the tablet and another for the quick keys. But the good news is that the tablet can work without these cables through wireless. All in all, the build quality of everything is so good and I like it. If you can't afford and you really don't need the quick keys to have extra shortcut buttons and want to pay less, you can only buy the tablet itself. Now for connecting the tablet to your PC, you just need to plug this USB into your PC and then install the drivers. It works through wireless easily. Actually, wireless use can be used up to 52 hours with a 2.5 hour charge. Now for installing the drivers, first you need to go to the sensebs.com, go to support, download drivers and download the drivers. Then double click and install it. When you open the software, you would see a very easy to use interface. First, you can choose pen tablet and assign any shortcuts you want to these three buttons on the top or here you can choose any color for the light on the tablet. Next, you can choose three button pen and here adjust the pen pressure or here program the buttons on the pen. For example, I chose double click, control Z and right click here. And if you choose thin pen, you can do the same process as well. Also, when you choose quick keys here, you would see many shortcut keys here. For example, here, the wheel has four modes that you can switch between them using the middle button on the quick keys device. Here, you can create any shortcut you want for the wheel like scroll, zoom, rotate, brush size. As I said before, you can set up to 40 different keyboard shortcuts with this device. Actually, there are eight different buttons at the side of this controller that by using them, you can set keyboard shortcuts related to the software you are working with, like Photoshop, Blender, ZBrush, or others. And also, you can set five different groups in each software that by using this single button here, you can change which group you want to use. So now guys, I'm going to show you how the pen and tablet work while I'm sculpting. It's just a test, we are not going to create a character. Actually, you should wait for my next video for this purpose and now just practice with my previous videos. So as you see guys, I prepared and connect everything and now we can start creating. So guys, first of all, I'm gonna test the pen and explain its performance as well. As you see, I'm choosing different brushes like clay strips or draw sharp brush and first I use the pen and press firmly and lower the pen pressure and you see it creates smooth lines and then when I press harder, you see it creates thicker line. This works without any issues. I really like the pen pressure sensitivity and it works great. Actually, both pens have 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity and 60 degrees of tilt. The pens are so light when you're working with them and I feel really good about them. Yeah, they're so cool. Just don't pay too much attention to the head I'm sculpting because actually it's the first time I'm using a pen tablet. I mean a non-screen tablet. You know, when you use pen tablets, you gotta draw on it and the result would appear on a screen elsewhere and this is a challenge for me because I'm really not used to using these kinds of tablets. It's hard for me to sculpt with a bit and definitely it does take some time getting used to. Of course, I'm using this for a week because I wanted to share with you my experiences and tell you my honest opinion. 
but I need more time to get used to it. But one thing that I like to mention here is that compared to my giant XP pen, this Sense Labs is really lightweight and cool. You know, it's more convenient to move or carry wherever and whenever you want. Even though a lot of artists prefer to draw on a screen tablet directly because they can see exactly what they draw or sculpt, just like when drawing with actual pen and paper, I think these pen tablets, especially the quality ones like this one, Sense Labs, have other useful features I mentioned that and you can be comfortable with them with just a bit of practice in a short time. And if you like to know more about Sense Labs products, please check out the links in the description below. I recommend that. Guys, I said this is my first time using a pen tablet, but it feels great sculpting with it and I like it. You know, I like the way the tablet and pen systems can work without even any small lag. And the accuracy of the pens are so good. Okay guys, I think I explained everything about this tablet and you saw how I could sculpt with it easily. Don't forget to check out the Sense Labs website and it would be great if you tell me in the comments below that which type of tablets you would prefer to buy, pen tablet or pen display tablet and tell me your reasons as well. Also, if you have a tablet at the moment, tell me the brand name and share your experiences with me and other artists. Guys, if this video has been useful for you, I would be glad if you hit the like button and subscribe my channel to see my next tutorials because every week I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.